Um, and next up, we have uh, Chansey Martorell, uh, the current executive director of the Thai Community Development Center. Uh, she, helped, she was a founding member in 1994. She's a strong advocate for human services and justice for the Thai community and was a leader in the 1995 El Monte slavery and human trafficking case involving Thai immigrants. Uh, take it away, Chansey. Hi, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Pana and David, for inviting uh, me to be um, on this uh, program. It's uh, um, uh, very gratifying uh, that uh, the Thai community is being uh, represented here because oftentimes we're uh, over overlooked. Instead of a model minority, oftentimes the Thai community feel like we're a minor minority and, and uh, not represented in any policymaking. And so uh, we really truly appreciate this. Uh, Thai uh, immigrants, I'm an immigrant myself, raised here in Los Angeles, and um, Thai immigrants have made their home here in Southern California since the 50s, uh, while compared to other uh, ethnic uh, immigrants in the API community, we're fairly uh, recent. Um, we are uh, growing, growing steadily, about 23, 25% uh, every, every census, uh, and, uh, and we... Um, have uh, right now about 200,000 Thais in Southern California. And that's the largest population of Thais abroad outside of Thailand. Now, of these 200,000 Thais, uh, unfortunately, 50% of them are undocumented. And um, and majority of them are low wage workers. They're economically disadvantaged. And their um, average uh, income for a household of four is about four. $24,000. And uh, sadly, they're disproportionately affected by the scourge and heinous crime of human trafficking here in the US. We represent the largest uh, group of uh, Asian Pacific Islanders who are trafficked here uh, in the US. And 69% um, and are medically indigent. And the second cause of death for for Thais, um, believe it or not, is peptic ulcer, which you don't die from <laughs> normally. And you have doctors here who would know that, right? And, and, and that's uh, because they are uh, suffering from chronic illnesses that, uh, and diseases that are going untreated. And, and then when we talk about um, uh, the broader definition of health, uh, we also have to recognize that the uh, difficulties of uh, integrating into a new country uh, makes your state of health also very precarious uh, because Thai immigrants, like many newcomers, are also faced with cultural dislocation and displacement that causes a lot of stress and tension in the Thai household. And that has led in, in our um, experience, uh, led to family violence in the home and disintegration of families. Um, and so, so when we talk about healthcare for ties, it's uh, really uh, healthcare on the margins. We're talking about a precarious, precarious state of health. Uh, we um, uh, have ties who are undocumented that our community center uh, have been able to get assistance from uh, who, if they live in LA County, can qualify for the My Health LA program, uh, which at least provides them access to care. Uh, we are also a covered California enrollment agency after Obamacare passed. Of course, we got the California version of Obamacare, and that um, has managed uh, to uh, provide them access to some form of health care uh, at low cost. Uh, but um, as as I stated, most of the ties that we work with are low wage workers. And uh, unfortunately, we have a system in this country where healthcare is tied to employment. And you could bet that many of these low wage workers are not getting health insurance because unfortunately they're working in a, uh, um, a workplace uh, where uh, they are not even being paid basic minimum wage. They're paid uh, below minimum wage and uh, not compensated for overtime and uh, does not, uh, and they do not receive any other benefits and, and uh, healthcare is one of those benefits that they definitely do not receive. Um, so 
I guess what I want to um, really uh, try to um, push for is is this um, healthcare for all that we're all uh, trying to push for and make sure that we all see this as a, a moral imperative. Uh, where I, I, I really appreciate the beginning, um, the presentation where healthcare was broadly defined because uh, we also have uh, in the Thai um, immigrant uh, community, uh, a lot of housing insecured. And, and when you are housing insecured, when you are um, without access to healthcare, when, I mean, you are uh, completely um, in, in a uh, very precarious situation. And then there's the precarity of the coronavirus pandemic on top of that too. So uh, we really, uh, really need to be uh, fighting for healthcare for all. And I really appreciate being able to be part of this struggle for, for change in our healthcare system. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um